So starting the test drive in this 23 F-150 Raptor, the sounds are incredible. And honestly, I'm more impressed with the sound I get from this as opposed to the TRX I just drove. Let me put it this way, from the exhaust standpoint. And getting the feel from the turbos is nice. Of course, it's not like being supercharged, but it's a smaller displaced engine, even though it has twin turbos. It's only a 3.5 liter V6. I just feel more confident just with the overall visibility, how this drives and everything. I just, I, I'm okay thrashing this. Not necessarily thrashing, but putting my foot down in this as opposed to the TRX where I feel like at any given moment, that truck could just lose control. And driving this around town does feel a bit easier than driving the Ram TRX. And I'm just comparing these because I think you're either in the market for a TRX or you're in the market for a Raptor, maybe even a Raptor R. And I just feel like the TRX might be too much for some and the Raptor will be just enough for those people. So I'm gonna try and give it some throttle here getting on the interstate. I have some space behind me. Hoping I'll be able to give it something. And I'm just gonna put the paddle shifters on. So a very, very quick truck. Now it's not TRX fast, but again, it feels more controlled than that. give myself a little more space and floor it. So great, great acceleration. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a fun fun truck. I'm going to put it into normal mode now test out the adaptive cruise for just a quick second with the the lane centering there so the truck is doing everything it's kind of a semi-autonomous system so you do get blue cruise which is supposed to be the hands-free driving system where you can get the the co-pilot which gives you the same stuff you just have to touch the steering wheel every so often But this is an impressive, impressive truck overall because you do get that semi-autonomous driving with a truck that's putting out 450 horsepower, 510 pound-feet of torque. And it just lays it down ever so beautifully with the sound of the exhaust, the overall driving feel, the security you get of driving this thing. It's just, it's impressive. Now comparing this to the competition, I think GM making the AT4X in the Sierras was a a neat idea. Same thing with the ZR2. I think those are real competitors for the Raptor finally. Now for the TRX, I think that's what makes Dodge so bold, or I say Ram so bold in making that truck because there's still the Raptor R maybe, but there's nothing quite like a Ram TRX. You can't you can't buy that from another manufacturer. But this Raptor here at around 83 to 85 grand is still a pretty decent buy in terms of what you get for the money if you're wanting a performance truck that can also go off road. And what another thing about the Raptor, this one in particular, at least the 23 model, I'm very impressed by just ride quality across the board, whether it's on the interstate, whether it's on this road that's under construction, even though this is meant to go off road, it's so comfortable. It's so, I mean, in a sense, it's practical for the gas mileage compared to other vehicles in the segment, but it's just, it's so much fun. Feeling those twin turbos kick in on that V6, just, that's a feeling you can't find even in the TRX, it's just something about it. But I think, again, this is, if you're wanting to get something, if you can't find a Raptor first and foremost, and you're wanting something that's 
decent on gas for what it is super quick off-road capable and again just an overall fun truck definitely make sure you take a look at the 2023 ford f-150 raptor